I've thought about this a lot lately because I've told friends recently that I didn't want to be an advocate of plural marriage anymore because I am more aware now than I ever was before the apparent and obvious unfairness in the relationship. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to follow up about the story I did about Christine rocking the sister wives world. This has been really big news because in this community in particular, the sect that they have followed, the AUB, it is very uncommon for women to leave and we've seen now Christine's aunt. Well, Christine's aunt has always kind of been outspoken about the AUB and about polygamy. And we actually, I'll touch on it in just a moment, but she actually appeared on the show. So just this news that Christine has left is really rocking the the sister wives viewers. It's, it's shocking. A lot of people thought I'd be married first. Anyways, we got some stuff to follow up on. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to go over is Christine has been doing cameos. And what's really surprising to a lot of people because these are being posted on Reddit and other social media platforms is that she's being pretty open and honest about life post-divorce and how she is going to navigate this time. So here's a couple cameos. And here are the segments where she specifically talks about her divorce. So take a look at this. Thank you for supporting me with leaving Cody. Um, the decision was a long time coming and I feel like a much better person divorced than I ever did. And life is so great. Like I had no idea life could be simple. I didn't know it could be simple. And I was asking my Kelsey, I'm like, is life simple? And she goes, yeah. And I said, you married life is simple? She goes, yes, life is simple. And so it, it's just, it's a phenomenal world. It's a whole new world. And I just hope that Cody and I can still remain friends during all of this because we've been still real high communicating with each other and stuff. And I mean, good and bad ways, don't get me wrong. It's been, uh, but like we have a life still together after this because we have kids to raise and truly is 11. So we have to just be good and amiable and things like that. And I think it's just important to remember that. Like, once you make the decision to get a divorce and leave, that's so difficult coming to that decision. And then you make the decision, but then you still have the rest of your life with these with these wonderful people that you've been living with for 26 years. And you still are part of the family and you still, and navigating all of that is also difficult. Like it's all, and it's, you make the decision to leave, but then you still have, you know, figuring things out and, People are so silly. They're like, you know, you know, I'm glad you left him and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, gosh, that's not the direction that I'm going here at all. There's like no anger or anything like that. You get that this is a journey. This is a journey and I'm just in it and just in it and we're all just in it. And it's hard. It's <laughs> really hard to know what to do all the time and what to say all the time. So I it seems that Christine is really grateful to have fan support. And one thing, so I did listen to Kate Casey interview Christine's aunt. And one thing that was mentioned in that interview is Christine is in a unique position that a lot of women who are leaving plural marriage, especially in the AUB sect of plural marriage, don't have or aren't in a position to have is she has access to money, her money, and that she is financially more stable than a lot of women who leave polygamous marriages are. So like that is really great for her. So I'm going to link actually the Kate Casey interview. I will link that in the description of this video because I thought that it was a really eye-opening interview, especially if you're not super familiar with the AUB, which is a, a sect of Mormonism. Additionally, People Magazine did an article about, and they referenced the interview as well, so I will link that article as well. It is important to note though that Christine, 
I'm not sure what the relationship is exactly. I don't know if there are bad, like super bad feelings there, but they aren't close. They're not in contact. And they do note that in the People Magazine article is they're not in contact with each other. So Kristen Decker, who is Christine's aunt, I take what she's saying more as not someone who's super close to Christine, like a super close family member, but someone who is from the same religious sect as Christine and who has left polygamy. That's what I'm taking her speaking out as. So for a long time, Christine's aunt, Kristen Decker, has been speaking out about the AUB, about polygamy and how it is all of the problematic things that have come from her life of polygamy and what she knew uh, being in a polygamous marriage. And she actually, even early on, I think it was, I don't know, I it was, the clip says it's from eight years ago. So I don't know if this was season like maybe three or four um, of Sister Wives, but Cody and the wives, including Christine, are on a panel. Christine's aunt is on the other side and they're having a debate Take a look at this clip. I think that it's patently unfair and unjust, in fact, to say that polygamy is evil because evils happen to you in polygamy. Monogamous have abuse. Other societies have abuse. Other religions have abuse. Non-religions have abuse. It is huge within polygamous societies and cultures and families, and it's not just in America, not just here. To be fair, we can't sit and broad brush this. You're painting us through your experience. You are? No. Uh, well, no more than you are for everyone. No, 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 I'm, not, I'm not recommending. It is interesting to see these early seasons of Cody and the wives, especially just because how completely different the relationships are now. And I actually think that that is something that Kristen Decker was speaking to, is that just the total evisceration of these women's self-esteem and self-worth and just what happens over the years. And we see that kind of in real time happening on this show and with all these relationships. When I went back and watched, you know, just various clips of the show, it's been pretty clear that Christine, you know, for so long, we've always thought as of Mary as the kind of emotionally like despondent wife, but going back and and looking especially when Robin joined the family and and throughout the years there have been times where Christine has just seemed so miserable so I just put together some moments here take a look at this the whole Robin coming along was making me mad because I hadn't met her and here Cody's going on and on and on about her he prays about it he gets a testimony that you know she is definitely someone that he wants in the family and I'm thinking I'm panicking because I haven't met her I don't know what she's like um never even seen her before and I thought it was horrible I totally felt like I lost my best friend so when Robin came to the family I was shocked at how many times she disagreed with you. I just gave in. You wanted to do something, I just gave in. I was like, whatever you needed, I just did. And I didn't argue, didn't even have, formulate an opinion all the way. And it completely shocked me that you loved her even though she was just arguing with you. I look back on there's a lot of times where I was so frustrated, but I didn't really speak and it ends up being something that I'm angry about now because I didn't stand up for myself then. If arguing doesn't work with Cody, how do you have a voice with Cody? It's like everything's been building up and it's just so frustrating, so I moved to argue. To me, it's very confrontational. I don't like confrontation at all. In my last video, I had mentioned that I just, I firmly believe that God does not intend for anybody to make a decision and stick by that decision no matter what, no matter how miserable you end up because of that decision, I do not believe that God expects you to just suffer for your whole life here on earth. Well, apparently in the AUB, that's exactly what God wants you to do. According to Kristen Decker, she actually mentions this in the interview with Kate Casey that there is this concept that the more suffering that you have here on earth is somehow correlated to having more blessings in the afterlife, in eternity, in the celestial kingdom. It's really quite shocking to me that there are there's specific teachings or specific doctrines that are put in place to combat the very notion of what will come of these that or what could i guess come of these plural marriages which is discontent dissatisfaction 
feeling neglected, maybe physically mistreated, who knows, but there are doctrines put in place to tell women to be quiet and to, you know, I, I Kristen Decker even says to keep sweet, which is something we've heard in reference to like the Duggars and the religious sect that they follow. And so it's, it's very similar in that, you know, hey ladies, life's not easy. Life might be really, really hard, but that just means it's going to be even better in the afterlife. And I just, I do not, I do not believe, and you know, I'm a Christian. I was raised Christian. I practice Christianity. It, I do not believe that God puts anybody here on earth to intentionally suffer. Again, going through these old clips of the show, it's talked about multiple times, especially early on when Robin is join, joining the family, about how the wives have to combat their natural tendency towards jealousy and anger. And in my opinion, if you're, at, because we know that polygamy exists in other cultures besides Mormonism, that it is something that is practiced all across the world and polyamorous relationships are a thing. And so it's not to say that that being non-monogamous is inherently the problem. It seems to be what the issue is, is to tell one member of the relationship to completely ignore and swallow their feelings and to never voice it and to never work on any kind of relationship problem because one other member of the relationship is automatically always in the right. I've actually, cause you guys know I cover Seeking Sister Wives. I've actually commended the Winders for this on the show because in my opinion, because like when, when my husband and I took our, we had to take premarital counseling courses before we got married. And the, one of the biggest topics that we covered in those counseling sessions was the fact that each person has a role in nurturing your relationships. So what, however you define your relationship, and that's completely up to the members in said relationship, if you are, if both parties or multiple parties are not active participants, then that person that's not actively actively participating, in my opinion, is actually not holding up their marriage vows. And so I think that Cody has not held up his marriage vows for a very long time. One of the things that I have commended the Winders for, and again, this is TV, so it could be completely different off camera, but it does seem that Colton actually does invest time in each of his wives. Now, if he takes on another wife, well, who knows, who knows? But for as their relationship stands, it always seemed to me that he really tried to nourish both relationships. And of course, you know, there will be feelings of jealousy or discontent and it, it seemed that he tried to work with the wives to resolve those issues, not to tell the wife that, hey, what you're feeling is wrong and you need to swallow it and just put a smile on your face. I've always been a proponent on live and let live. That's my personal life motto. If you're a consenting adult, and you want to enter into a relationship, it's not it's not for anyone else to say like, hey, that's wrong, like whatever. But the key is consent, that is the key. The key is adult at the same time. When those two things are not in place, then we, then we have problems and we need to set some laws. So with that being said, when I was listening to the interview, with Christine's aunt, I found it to be profoundly disturbing that technically these are consenting adults that are entering into these relationships, but really these are people that have grown up in this religious sect and have been groomed 
their whole lives to believe this certain way. They're actually coerced into these relationships, into these marriage, and they're heavily discouraged from voicing their feelings. It's like, I guess technically it's consensual, but it just seems so disturbing and so problematic. And like, like I mentioned earlier, we have seen non-monogamous relationships on TV. We, we, you know, we have Seeking Sister Wife. There was even a TLC special brother husband. So it, we, we have seen the topic of non-monogamy covered where it's not this notion of a woman just no matter what just smiling and keeping on so it's going this is going to be a very interesting season of sister wives because we're going to see christine has said that we're going to see the breakdown of their relationship throughout this season and her ultimately her decision to leave so it's going to be very interesting to see how she comes to terms with accepting the fact that she can leave, she should leave, and that she is going to be a better mother once she does leave. I, for one, am really glad that she is speaking out through cameos, through whatever avenue she finds as a voice to speak out. If she can have a cordial relationship with Cody, kudos to her. I think one of the very valid criticisms that there has been, especially last season, is that Cody, for all of this, you know, be fruitful and multiply talk that he made, especially early on in this series, he is I don't know, this might be a bold statement, but he doesn't seem to be a very good or attentive father. He seems to definitely prioritize certain relationships, certain children over others. And it's just messed up. It, you know, with Janelle, her kids didn't even seem to really care if Cody came over. It'll be interesting to see because Truly is, I think uh, Christine mentioned that Truly's 11 very young, preteen, definitely needs your dad in your life at that point. So it'll be interesting to see how involved, especially if they're living in different states, it's going to be very difficult. And I'm sure that that's going to be documented on the show. So anyways, you guys, make sure you let me know what you think down in the comments. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, have a good one, much love.